so first time buyers, right? First time buyers, you got some tips for our first time buyers. It's still less of a hectic market, but still somewhat of a hectic market. Inventory is down, interest rates are up. Definitely, yeah. Any thoughts? Yeah, I think that interest rates are up for sure. And that's scared away a lot of buyers, but putting it into perspective of last year's market, you mm -hmm. know, it was, you're getting beat out by, we've had houses that had 40 offers, 20 Silly. offers. Yeah. yeah, just kind of, it made the buyers feel like, especially first time home buyers, it was such an intimidating market that oh. they just felt like, this is horrible. Like, is this how it's always gonna be to buy a house? And um, for those that haven't bought a house, now that the interest rates are up, that means that a lot of the competition is out, which is Smart, yeah. really big for buyers. Um, and I know that they kind of get scared of the interest rates being, you know, we've had some- 5%? Yeah, 5 6%. It's not historically high. Not even close. No. It's actually still unbelievably historically low. Some buyers don't realize that you can refinance as soon as that kind of drop comes again. You know, yeah. it's going to, eventually the interest rates are going to come down again, um, whether it be in a couple months to a couple years, you know, they are going to come down. So without all that competition right now, you do have a much better chance of getting a home right now. Absolutely. We've seen, you know, on average, there's one to maybe three offers on a lot of houses now, which is really helpful for all the buyers out there. It actually kind of evens the playing field a little bit, mm -hmm. and it still also is benefiting sellers. So you're finding that buyers right now are having a little bit of an easier time purchasing, finding, purchasing homes? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would say that on top of that, inventory has gone up as well. So instead of just you know, one ranch in the entire neighborhood, you're going to yeah. find a couple options. Two or finally. Three, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So your options are spreading out more. And especially with buyers that are looking like for condo alternatives, like up to two, $300,000, mm. it's so much better for them now because last year's market, it was like, it was all either fixer uppers or oh, it was yeah. gone so quick. It didn't even hit the market. Yeah, and true. now these homes are finally on the market. They're able to get these condo alternatives or condos for that matter. And it's not absolute chaos anymore. What do you think are like the biggest pitfalls that first time buyers have when they're out in the market right now? Is there any areas you see them getting snagged or? I would say um, we kind of touched on it a bit is these turnkey homes, you're still going to have some competition. So I would say that that is where there's still a little bit of um, like a pitfall you said so they're still mm. going up against other um, buyers um, it still is a bidding war in these turnkey homes and especially like sought after neighborhoods um, they're still going super quick um, interest rates also I would say we already mentioned but that yeah. is definitely what's taking the biggest toll on buyers I would say right now um, yep they used to be able to qualify for you know, someone used to be able to qualify for a four hundred thousand dollar home. Now they're qualifying for three seventy five or even three, somewhere three around twenty five, three fifty. Yeah. yeah, for every one percent a mortgage rate goes up, a buyer loses ten percent of buying power. You're walking a first time buyer into a home. What's the biggest turnoff right now? Things like weird paint and wallpaper uh, tend to really turn worst. people off. That's the worst. It it's, is. It's something that can be remedied so easy. When I'm taking a listing and I see a a room with striped like pink and <laughs> green like i'm like whoa what happened in here yep. we gotta paint this